The president sounding off of the FBI's handling of the General Michael Flynn case, newly released records showing former FBI official Peter Strzok kept the probe open despite a lack of evidence. In a January 4th memo, the FBI writing, quote this, the CH team, that's Crossfire Hurricane team, determined that Crossfire Razor was no longer a viable candidate as part of our larger Crossfire Hurricane umbrella case. But it also reveals that Strzok kept the investigation going, texting an FBI case manager this, Hey, if you haven't closed Razor, don't do so yet. Joining me right now is the attorney for Michael Flynn and the author of the book, Conviction Machine, Standing Up to Prosecutorial Abuse, Sidney Powell. Sidney, it is great to have you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. And congratulations to you to unearth all of these important documents. Thank you, Maria, and happy Law Day. Yeah, exactly. You know, I've been tweeting about this yeah. and talking about the unfair situation that the general faced. Let me ask you this. A lot of people came back to me on Twitter and they said, well, he pled guilty. So what about that? So explain to our viewers, Sydney, why General Flynn pled guilty in the first place. Well, a guilty plea is supposed to be knowing and voluntary. His was neither. We have evidence that we produced earlier this week that General Flynn's guilty plea was coerced. We found documents that indicate that from the Covington law firm, that they had a secret side deal with Mr. Van Grack, the prosecutor, and I'm sure it's Mrs. Ahmad, too, that was on the special counsel operation. They had threatened to indict Michael G. Flynn, who had a four-month-old baby, the general's son if he didn't immediately agree to plead guilty. So that is coercion that's completely improper. And they also hid from him all the evidence that we've uncovered that shows he's innocent, that they made up the entire thing. Of course, he knew that, but he had no evidence of it and no way to prove it because the FBI agents had gone in, ambush interviewed him, did not record the interview. Of course, they didn't even tell him that they were interviewing him as a subject. They schemed and connived to keep him from knowing that he was a subject of the interview. They deliberately wanted to avoid that because they wanted to keep him relaxed and unguarded. Nothing about this case was done right. They violated every rule, every protocol, and then have long hid since the beginning of the investigation the evidence that they knew he was innocent. The entire prosecution was false. It must be dismissed for the government's egregious misconduct and his guilty plea withdrawn. The standard is supposed to be lenient before sentencing. It's really not that hard, but uh, it yeah. definitely should be withdrawn. So, 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 Sydney, wait a second. What you're telling me is that General Flynn's first lawyer before you, the Covington firm, had a deal with prosecutors to make sure that he pled guilty. Now, I know that Covington is also Eric Holder is a partner at that law firm. They did not unearth any of these documents that, that you found. You're saying that they, they, they hid them specifically, intentionally, and did not put them forth. Uh, not that Covington hid them. The government hid them. The government hid them from Covington and General Flynn, and the world, for that matter, to protect their prosecution of him. Their prosecution of General Flynn was needed to keep the obstruction hoax going against the president, because they already knew the Russia hoax had fallen apart. By January, that was clearly dispelled. At least many people in the government knew it enough that they weren't going to be able to continue that very long. In fact, Comey admitted when he handed the file over to Mr. Mueller that they still had no evidence of Russia collusion between the Trump campaign. And the documents that we've got prove that they had completely exonerated General Flynn of any Russia connection connection there by January 4th. But it wasn't just Mr. Strzok, who happened to work also for John Brennan and the CIA, remember. It was also Comey and McCabe, because the text messages we've got say the seventh floor was handling this, was in on it. And that's Comey and McCabe that were driving this as well. Yeah. Oh, I know that, Sydney, And I've known this for a couple of years, that they just inserted Donald Trump into I know. Trump you've been all Russia over meddling. it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it was all next? a frame job. Well, it's I would expect they sometime soon. They just wanted soon. to take down yeah. Donald Trump. It's, this is the most extraordinary story. That's why nobody believed me initially, because it's absolutely extraordinary. <laughs> so what happens next? When are you expecting General Flynn to get exonerated? And would he consider now, do you think that the president is going to pardon him as well? Well, uh, he shouldn't need a pardon. I've maintained from day That's one true, that he should gonna, be completely gonna exonerated. Guilty, right. 
Right, exactly. Right. So there, there should be no pardon needed whatsoever. But what should happen next is that the government decides to dismiss the case. Judge Sullivan entered a bizarre order yesterday saying we can't even yeah. file anything else. Sydney, it's great he to have you this down morning. Our Please come back soon. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Sydney. Sydney Powell, thank you so much.